You're, you're warning that it may be too risky to try to contact space aliens has stirred a lot of debate. Do you care to react to some of the criticism, those who say the search for extraterrestrial life is central to space exploration? I think we should look out for primitive life. If advanced life exists, they'll contact us. Aliens haven't contacted us so far, except maybe in the state of Arizona. I jumped out of the way and said, oh my God, this plane's going to crash. This thing came right across, north to south. Of Incidentally, I was a private pilot, so I have some familiarity with the airspace. It glided over my house, and there was absolutely no noise. We saw a, no noise. what I thought to be a kind of a boomerang shape. I my God, that's a wingspan. I've never seen anything like that. They were reported by at least one commercial airline pilot. It was, it was humongous, that's what I could say. Passed right in front of us, uh, just about uh, right above eye's length. I don't hear anything, do you? No, I don't hear anything. What in the hell is that? It's, it's wide. I came out second after Monica, and I remember looking at it, it was coming over the mountain, and it was like yes. almost as wide as one of the humps. And it was very exactly. low. It's coming across the sky, and as it's moving, it's blocking and unblocking the stars. There is actually a shape. It was more like a boomerang than a, like a straight V, and then the lights were spaced pretty evenly. It was actually five lights that were a V, one in front to, and two on each side, and it was, perfect. it was a perfect triangle. If you can imagine something the size of Camelback Mountain, floating down Scottsdale Road, you have some idea of the intensity of this thing. The object we saw, if we opened up a newspaper, you could not block out the object that we saw. People say, Mike, now you saw a B-2 bomber. My response was, we could land all 40 of our B-2 bombers on the wing of that craft. You know, it's, it's, it's one of the biggest things I've ever seen that, uh, that moved like that. I mean, it was just enormous. It happened last night, and eyewitnesses who saw it say it's like nothing they've ever seen before. I don't know if it was as big as an aircraft carrier. It might have been, because I've never seen an aircraft carrier fly. <laughs> it barely missed that mountain. Really? Yeah, came floating over the mountain. So had you not looked up, you wouldn't have known it was No, there. my daughter, it was 8.30 at night, my daughter was coming over here and she ran in and said mom you have got to see this so we all there was such an uproar about what people described seeing that we also did a story about it back in 1997 the first report of a strange flying object came at about 8:20 that night from a former police officer in paulden arizona over the next 40 minutes people gave similar reports of an object along a 200 mile route south to phoenix and tucson it was gunmetal black. It wasn't shiny. It wasn't invisible. It was more of a dull, bluish black color. And we both just stayed there and looked at it for a couple minutes, and it was completely silent. When you look down the street on a hot day in Phoenix, uh -huh. above the streets, like it's really wavy, and you see everything kind of distorted, uh -huh. and that's what it looked like up inside the middle of the craft. It was just gliding, and then it stopped, and then it like the sides retracted a little, and then it was gone. It just went acceleration to deceleration. It was no noise the whole time, and not a sound. Explanations have been tossed about that there were flares, that there were planes flying in formation. But Mark and Robin, we check with the FAA today, we check with Sky Harbor, and we check with Luke Air Force Base, and there's been no official explanation of those strange bright lights last night.